I'm Louisa and my husband Mark and I have been living here at Star Corner for the past seven years. But if you're interested to see what it looks like now and what we're working on, carry on. But I'm certainly starting to think about how we could improve it. And what's not right about this room is all... Welcome to my garden and welcome to Star Corner. Star Corner is a early 1700s cottage here in Norfolk. I'm Louisa and my husband Mark and I have been living here at Star Corner for the past seven years working on a DIY renovation. Every month I do a renovation house tour where I take you around my cottage and show you what it looks like in its renovated state. So if you're looking for a full-on cottage tour where it's all finished this isn't the tour for you but if you're interested to see what it looks like now and what we're working on. Carry on. I'm going to do something slightly different today. As we go through each room, I will point out jobs still to be done and talk about maybe a few timescales. We'll go into a bit more detail as we go through each room. But we're starting off in the garden because this is an area that I have got grand plans for. This is the herb garden or one half of the herb garden, which I'm really, really pleased with. It's really come together. And there's going to be an identical herb garden on the other side of the path. So that will make a lovely entrance as we come up to the front door of the cottage. Now, I know many of you are keen to see the rest of my garden. I promise you that in July, I will take you around and talk about all the plans that we've got for the garden. We've got some great plans, but I won't do it now. So let's go into Star Corner and I'll show you where we're at with it. Come on in. So we've come in straight through the front door into what's called the cinema room. Now there are actually two living spaces here in Star Corner because the cottage originally was two cottages which has been merged into one in the early 1900s, I think around 1920 actually. But so we've got two living rooms, this is the cinema room and then we've got the living room just through here. This is a room that it's just not gelling with me at the moment. So there's a projector on the screen and a blank wall, which is why it's called the cinema room. So we can spend time in here as a family. There's a log burner so we can keep warm in the winter. And there's just something that's just not working in this room for me. It's obviously the access to the front door as well. So we have to keep a space here. Now this table is just full of my stock. I am a vintage and antique dealer. So this is just some of my stock, which I keep here out of harm's way. And we've got various bits of furniture, things that are stock, things that aren't. And it's just not feeling like a room that I love, but we'll see. This is definitely something, we may not work on this room this year, but I'm certainly starting to think about how we could improve it. Every time I do a house tour, I always point out that the ceiling is missing and that we need to do the ceiling, but that we've been waiting for plumbers to come. But the great news is that the plumbers have been, they're finished, and we do not need to have plumbers on site anymore. So now this is a job that can be added to the list. When it gets done, I don't know because it's not top priority, but um, it's really nice to know that we can now put the ceiling up and hopefully that will actually then begin to make this room feel a bit more homely. And you'll also notice the old part of the house now has radiators in every room, which is just fantastic. We haven't tested them yet, but they've been installed. We've got the oil tank installed, the boiler, everything's good to go. So come the colder months, we'll be able to switch on the central heating and feel a lot more cosy. So before I move on from this room, as I've mentioned, we need to put the ceiling up. I feel that it needs a refresh. We definitely need new windows in the front. The floor is a beautiful permanent floor, but that's going to need to be taken up and put insulation down because the old part of the house on the downstairs is really, really cold in the winter, even at this time of year, actually. So we're going to take the original permanent tiles up put insulation down and relay the tiles as best we can. So that will make it a lot more snug and warm as well. But yeah, this room just needs a bit of love and attention, but it may not happen until next year because we have got other things to work on. So let's move through to the boot room. We've come through the front door 
into the cinema room and now we've come into the boot room and this is total work in progress we built the extension we finished it last year and that was a completely new building of the boot room downstairs cloakroom kitchen and bedroom and that was a mammoth undertaking which um, my husband mark did most of it which is just incredible so this room, this is where I will do my flower faffing here at this sink. This sink and unit is something that we picked up on Facebook and I'm hoping that my daughter is actually going to paint it a beautiful shade of green through her holiday now that she's finished school. The black unit that's in the kitchen, which many of you are already familiar with, that's going to live along this wall here. Obviously we, we need um, coat hooks and shoe racks and all sorts of things so this room is going to provide a lot of function there's underfloor heating in this room and we will have a sheila made up on the ceiling so i'll be able to dry my washing here too now i've already mentioned that the plumbers have been and finished so the addition in this room is that we now have a fully fitted boiler in the corner there and that will be a boiler cupboard so now that that's in place, we can actually put a stud wall up here, across here. So behind the stud wall will be a boiler cupboard. And then on the other side, there'll be a downstairs cloakroom. So uh, this will be the boot room and that will be the cloakroom. So that would be really nice. Again, this is a room that we do need to do. We need to do everything here, plaster board it, do the ceiling lots of work to do here although not a major 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 thing but this room's just not priority at the moment so it may end up staying like this for quite some time so let's move through to the kitchen so come on through into the kitchen before you come i'll just explain that here we're going to actually have a pocket door so it probably will be open most of the time but we will have the option to actually slide the door across if we want to but i think most of the time it will just be stuck in its pocket and uh, it will just make it a really nice free flowing space so come on in many of you are very familiar with the kitchen so yes there's lots to do in this room plaster the walls, put the ceiling in place. We must, must, must soon put the skylight in. Um, there's a big skylight there that needs to go in. But this room, we got to a point where it functions. It's watertight, it's warm, we can use it. I've got access to all my bits and pieces. We've got a cooker that works. We've got a sink with hot running water, which is an absolute luxury for us because we were without hot, run, hot running water in the house for about three years. So it may not look great, but it's functional. So we do not need to rush anything in this room. The only thing that we probably will do this year is the skylight, which will be lovely. It will just flood some light in here. But um, yeah. I think when you've got so much to do in a DIY renovation, you really have to prioritise what's happening when. And our main priority is the bedroom and small bathroom ensuite, which is next to the kitchen. I'm not going to show you that because things have started hotting up there and we have had a delivery of the floor tiles. I'm expecting the shower to arrive within the next few days and then we can really crack on with that. So Mark has been doing some behind the scenes work in there, but I'm hoping that when I do the next house tour, you'll really have something really good to see. But let me just go and get the floor tile so you'll know what we went for in the end. These are the floor tiles that we opted for in the ensuite bathroom. They were quite expensive, but they're just really going to finish the room off nicely. So the terrazzo tiles, and they've got lovely tones of off black, mustard, sort of terracotta color. So they really tie in with the rest of the house. Now I heard somewhere or read somewhere that the one thing not to compromise on is flooring. So even if you have to compromise elsewhere, that you should not compromise on flooring and that you can put expensive furniture on cheap floors and the furniture will look cheaper but you can put cheap furniture on expensive floors and it will elevate your furniture whether that's true or not i don't know but it made sense to me anyway we saw these we fell in love with them 
we agonized over it for some time but we decided to go with it and now that they're here I think it was well worth it I hope you agree we've also made a decision on the flooring for the bedroom kitchen and also boot room now much to my surprise we've opted for a tile I really wanted natural wood but we have got underfloor heating and we did so much research and wood is just not going to be an effective way of, of using the central heating so we found this one really liked it and what we've decided to do because we're having it in such an expanse of space that we're going to lay them in different configurations in each room just to try and zone it slightly so this is called rustic barn i think we haven't ordered this yet but definitely this is what we're going for and i think if you look at them together you'll see that they go really nicely together and whilst we're talking about purchases and decision making this is a new addition this has actually been bought for i think it will end up in the bedroom at, maybe at the end of the bed but i saw it and really liked it so this is something that we bought for the bedroom it's got a william morris print underneath it's currently just living by the window in the kitchen but uh, this is what i always say if you see something you like nab it whilst you can and then just keep it wherever until it can actually go into the space where um where you finally want it but i think this will go in the bedroom although i keep thinking that it might be nice in the living room too so it will find a home we'll just have to find out where today is the living room so come on in this of all the rooms is the room that's most finished and what's not right about this room is all the furniture in it we're storing things for the bathroom over there um, that that will live in the small bathroom there's a glazed cupboard in front of me that will be living in the bathroom the sofa needs recovering this chair needs a new spring so the it, it's done there's there's the lovely panelling on the wall and the ceiling's done and all those sort of things but what we now need to do at some point is actually furnish it nicely but just like the cinema room we are going to have to dig up all the beautiful pamments put insulation down and then relay the tap pamments um what else obviously we need different curtains with a curtain pole so that all the furniture in here is going to have a big move around I think the one thing that might be saying is this coffee table which we bought at an antique fair the other week and yeah it's really the room that we light candles in always have fresh flowers and it's warm it's light got the lovely log burner there that pumps out massive amounts of heat in the winter so this is our cozy space the space that we can retreat to when there's chaos going on everywhere else this is the room that we can really come and enjoy but what will be lovely is the at the point when we can actually sit back and think this is how it's meant to be rather than that this is just full of things that are just do for nows but I think the things that will stay I've already mentioned the coffee table I think the desk over there although it won't stay in in the window I believe that it will stay in the room and also the workbench again which is behind the camera um, that is something that I think is a keeper so that will either stay in the living room or it will move through to the cinema room that was a very very quick tour of Star Corner I hope you enjoyed it so later on in the month you'll get to see all of the land that surrounds the cottage and with an explanation of what we plan to do and fingers crossed next month we're going to have major progress to show you in the ensuite and to have an indoor shower rather than having to go outside and throw a hole in the wall to a shower will just be incredible so anyway thank you for watching and i will see you again next time bye for now